tuning in everyone this is anthony smoke go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com definitely subscribe to the channel here on youtube make sure to ring the bell so you get notifications when one of my new videos drop and if you learn something make sure to give this video a like so today i'm back in tableau uh, going to show you how to highlight the bottom three bar chart values in tableau so i already have a video that shows you how to highlight the top three bar chart values in Tableau, check that out. Um, but this is going to be the inverse of that, right? So let's get right into this. And actually it's gonna show you how to highlight the uh, bottom in bar chart values because we're gonna use a parameter. So it's gonna be dynamically changing. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. We're in sample superstore um, data set here. And all I've done is I've dragged uh, sales to columns and a subcategory to rows gives us this pretty standard uh, bar chart. Uh, and if I wanted to, I could drag the sales here to uh, to labels, right? So we can see the uh, values here. So uh, the first thing we want to do, let's create a parameter, create a parameter, and let's call it uh, highlight parameter. Oop, let's keep that. And let's just call it Highlight parameter, data type, it's gonna be an integer. Current value, let's uh, let's start with three by default. And, uh, oh, I can actually do a range. So let's do a, um, a minimum of one, maximum of, uh, let's say 10, that's fine. Say okay. Oops, step size uh, one, yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then let's show the parameter that, uh, that I misspelled here. That's <laughs> Parameter, all right. Say okay. Now let's uh, let's go ahead, right click, and we want to show the parameter control. Great. So now we can change the parameter. It doesn't do much right now, but we can change it. So we have a parameter. We have our bar chart, and so there are two different ways uh, you can use to show the bottom three. We can create a set, but it has some limitations, and I'll show you how to. How to do that right so we can uh, if I go to my subcategory I'm gonna right click and let's go to create a set and I'm gonna go to top now obviously I can do this for top but I can also do it for bottom so let's show the bottom and then not 10 let's use our parameter uh, sales and we want to sum and that's fine that's great so now I have this set. Actually, let me go ahead and um, give it a name here. Let's call this um, uh, top three, or I'm sorry, bottom, bottom three uh, sales set, something like that. Okay, say okay. Now if I take that set and put it on color, right, you'll see that my bottom three values are highlighted and I just want to change the uh, the end let's change that to red say okay for now right and you'll notice um, if I were to change this right as I go up I can highlight more and more bottom values right all the way till I get to the top 10 now the limitation with this if I were to drag in let's take region I take region and I pull it in you'll see that you know I'm not getting the bottom 10 uh, per region and the reason why is because it's only going to highlight the bottom 10 overall in our whole set by uh, sales so um, we don't get that um, that consistent highlighting of the top 10 it could be in different order right in our different regions so that's why we don't get a consistent uh, bottom 10 here right so what we can do and I'm gonna take the set out and actually I'm going to back out the region as well we can create a calculated field good old calculated field so let's create a calculated field and let's call this bottom um, three well bottom in sales <laughs> values that's fine and what I can do we want to use the rank function we want to rank sum right let me put this in here first rank sum of sales right is less than or equal to instead of hard coding three I'm gonna use our highlight parameter right and what am I missing here sum of 
sales. Right, there we go. So what this is saying, this will actually give us our top uh, value. So if I, if I say OK here, even though I'm calling it bottom end, I just want to show you something really quick. Um, if I take this bottom end sales value and put it on color, you'll see and you know you'll, you'll notice that the the top 10 here that's right sorry the top 10 are highlighted and if i were to change this let's put this down to three you'll see that the top three are highlighted right so how do we switch this up um, to to just show the bottom and so the trick to that and let me just change the colors real quick um, false i well no let me cancel that. Let me just show you this first. So to switch that up, let's go to bottom end sales value. So that's how you get the top. Um, I'm going to take zero minus the sales, right? So if you think about it, uh, let's say you have a low sales value, say $10, right? That's pretty low. If you go zero minus sales, right? That's negative 10. That's going to be the highest value. So it basically flips our, our values around, right? Our, our lowest values are ranked at the top. So if I say OK, right, oh, you'll see I, my three lowest values are highlighted. And of course, I can change that here. But now, does it pass the uh, extra dimension test, right? And again, I, I want to go in here and change these colors just because I like, um, you know, for true, I want red and for false, I want gray, right? Highlight. Now, if I were to drag in region, does it pass the test? So let's drag in region. And you'll see, oh, we have a little bit of issue, but that's okay because what we're going to do is here, we're going to go here, we're going to compute using our subcategory. And voila, um, we have our bottom 10 values highlighted, and I can back that down, right, all the way to three. So the parameter control here uh, dictates uh, what is highlighted in my visual, and we're starting from the bottom, as Drake would say, right? So. Let's take a look at all of the regions here to see if uh, we truly have seven, six, five. Okay, looks like it's working across all of our regions. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you enjoyed this tip. Go ahead and take this tip. Get out there and do some great things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.